Liberty with you for every step on the road to financial freedom. We all know the term financial advisor, and generally you might think that the services of such a professional are only for the old and for the wealthy. Well, we're going to bust that myth today and let you in on what exactly a financial advisor does and when you should be enlisting their help. Ivan Simani, welcome to FinSmart. What does a financial advisor do? Well, besides um, having a teacher in high school and having a lecturer in varsity or college, the most important person post all of that is a financial advisor. Because what a financial advisor actually does is they teach you about um, how to handle your finances, how to plan for the future, yeah. and to make sure that your family is looked after and to make sure that your future is secured. When does one actually need to start engaging a financial advisor? That's an interesting one because the minute that you leave varsity, you now start planning for your future. So you, you enter into the job market and um, you've got a whole lot of time ahead of you. You've probably got about 40, 45 years ahead of you. And um, that's exactly when you need a financial advisor. Because you've got so much time ahead of you, you can benefit from so much in terms of um, investment returns, in terms of putting away money, because then you benefit from things like compound interest, rent cost averaging, and then you're able to plan your future without any pressure and without having any responsibilities. So what you're saying, the sooner the better. And you need to have the patience for it, I suppose. Absolutely. The sooner the better. And picture this. So when you were born, if your parents decided they'll purchase a retirement annuity for you, and now at age 25, they gift you with that retirement annuity, can you imagine how far ahead of your peers you'll be in terms of your retirement planning? Because it's the best gift a parent can ever give to a child is a retirement annuity at the age of 25 because you now have 25 years worth of savings, which your peers don't have. You're miles ahead. That also feeds into why you should save from as early as possible and why parents should also, you know, learn to put away money for their kids from as early as possible. But are you actually getting that message out there to young parents that they should also start early and invest in their own children? Yeah, we're certainly getting that message out there. We're trying to attract a lot more younger advisors into the business so that they, they're able to relate with the youngsters coming out of university and even the younger parents. So if you are able to relate with an advisor who's more or less the same age as you or more or less in the same life phase as you, it's easier to have that discussion and it's easier to, to articulate that message to those people. The other myth is that it's, it's expensive, you know, in, in, to invest in my future. Is that the case? A lot of people think it is, mm -hmm. but to be fair, and honest with you, it's, it's not expensive. You have investments that, um, that start for as little as 500 Rand a month, and you can increase it um, as and when you get your salary increases. Um, so it's, it's really not expensive. But I think the problem is people think access to advisors is expensive yes. and not the actual investment itself. And that's also a myth. Um, and let's demystify that. So a lot of the products that you would invest in to achieve your goals, the fees are embedded or the commission is embedded in the product. So it's not necessarily payable from or by the client from, from his pocket, all right? Typical investment will probably cost you anything between 0.5% uh, all the way through to 3%. And that's negotiable because yeah. remember, it's your money. So you have to be comfortable enough to negotiate with the advisor to say, listen, this is a journey that we're going on. I'd like you to become our financial advisor, but only at 0.5% of my assets. So let's talk to the a youngster coming out of university who may be watching this. What is your best piece of advice to them right now? Start as early as possible. Do not use that first salary to go buy champagne and to, to go to Diamond Walk. You can't afford it, yeah. right? So, but what you can afford is you can afford to, to, to speak to a financial advisor because it's a journey that you go on uh, with your financial advisor. It's probably going to last you for the rest of your life and, and generations to come. Fantastic stuff, Ivan. Lovely chatting with you. So there you have it. It doesn't matter your age or income bracket. Enlisting the help of a professional now can help you take control of your finances and also help you build true wealth in the long term. It's not just your financial freedom. It's your liberty. Let's make it count. Liberty, in it with you.